So you see, the fourth clause of the previous statute only applies in cases of fire and flood, unless otherwise stipulated in the appendix. Do you see? Not clearly. I'm not sure I can explain it in simpler terms. Surely this can wait until after the election. There's no point learning all this if I lose. You will not lose. Be very sure of that. There are other candidates. <laughs> I believe I've warned you about mocking me. Forgive me, sir. I had thought you understood the system. The other candidates are straw men. Straw men. Saves a great deal of useless strife if there's no opposition, but it would look ill if Caesar's man was the only one standing. These facts disturb you somehow. The elections are sanctioned by Jupiter Capitolinus. They are sacred. Caesar also is sanctioned by Jupiter, is he not? By augury, by triumph, by acclaim of the people. Anything he does is sacred. In a way, he is a demigod. For one day only. For the rest, he is a mortal man like you and me. Mortal or not, he's trying to save the Republic. By corrupting the elections. The Roman people are not crying out for clean elections. They're crying out for jobs. They're crying out for clean water, for food, for stability and peace. You can do great things for your people. You can help save the Republic. Or you can go back to your shop and resume selling mutton and pig. Have dirty hands with a clean conscience. <laughs> <laughs>